Yardy Gill with the hunt. With the hunt. Excuse me, completely lost for a second there. Just dragged it. <laughs> with the Yardy Gill been pursuing the Shonamaru for days, the whalers had not made one single kill. The captain of Shonanaru must have been thinking that things could not could possibly get any worse. Then came the total surprise, which is our third vessel, the Bob Barker, finally arrived. The Japanese whalers had no option but to flee. This causes huge economic impact for the whaling fleet. Whilst they're running, running for our actions, they cannot be catching whales. Unlike them, we do not break the Antarctic Treaty by refuelling a sea. We have to return to land to resupply. And possibly take several weeks to rediscover the fleet again. Previously, with only one vessel, the fleet could resume whaling only when the sea burner had left. Now the Bar Barker would continue. It would hassle the whalers with the Arnie Gill buzzing around it like a persistent fly. So not even one day had passed since the arrival of Bob Barker when in an act, what can only be described as an act of rage, confusion and blatant disregard for human life, the captain of the Shonamaru 2 delivery ran the Yardy Gill, shearing off the front of the vessel and gave no offer of assistance to the crew of the sinking ship. The threat to the profits of the waning fleet took precedent of the lives of individuals. So what has been the response to the international community of this act of aggression against New Zealand's uh, registered vessel? With an international crew, more diplomacy, where is the cacophonous international cry for the protection of life and human life, animal life, over profit? The battle of profit over life in some of the most beautiful and pristine waters on the planet has been escalated beyond all reason, yet nothing is done. Why? <laughs> Next month, at a world conference in San Diego, two American scientists will produce evidence about dolphin intelligence, concluding that their intelligence makes it morally repugnant to mistreat them. The scientists will argue that dolphins are intelligent life forms with complex social structures, the ability to forward plan, communicate, and execute complex procedures. In these scientists' eyes, Dolphins should enjoy the same rights as human individuals and not be subject to captivity, torture, degradation, or inflicted pain. Basic human rights. And again, dolphins are another area where Japan has shame with the slaughter every year of 20,000 plus dolphins in the bays of Taji. Now, larger cetaceans, for example, the minke whales and the fin whales that Japan is targeting have a far larger cerebral complex or cerebral cortexes than dolphins and therefore greater capacity for thought, emotions and pain. It takes quarters, halves, even hours for a harpooned whale to die. They do not die from the explosive harpoon head that rips through half of their body. They do not die from the struggle when their agonised body, thrashing in the blood and flesh stone waters, is slowly winched towards the, the harpoon vessel. They do not die from the multiple rifle shots that are fired from the stern into their head. They do not die as a hole is cut into the tail fruit and a rope is passed through it to secure it to the harpoon ship. They die a slow, agonising, totally conscious and feeling death from drowning and blood loss. The whale slaughter in Antarctica is inhuman, immoral, it threatens the survival of a species that has survived for millions of years without any major threats. We must end this atrocity now, and if governments and international organisations will not do this, we will. Please support Sea Shepherd and help the atrocities committed in our oceans in the name of profit and greed.
blood, blood, blood on your hands, blood, blood, blood on your hands. Blood on your hands. Blood on your hands. Whaling within the southern um, ocean and Antarctic waters, uh, they're, they're taking endangered species within a protected whale conservation area. Um, their words to me is that um, they're going to continue with their actions and um, they're going to make the strongest possible protest um, against our actions down there with the Ardu Gill. And uh, we actually committed an offence down there and put lives in danger of the Japanese crewmen uh, who struck our vessel. But, um, but um, um, yes, and they've been quite predators. We explain that the, the Japanese government's going to be making consultations and uh, will be uh, probably taking action against our vessels in Japan. And that uh, we endanger Japanese lives down there. But um, primarily, what's the main concern to us is, is the lives of endangered species of whales which are being threatened down there. That's the main concern of us. So it gets delivered, but um, the point is, we've made our protest, we've made our feelings known, and if the government of Japan chooses to ignore those feelings, then that's their, that's their choice, their decision. It's not just our feelings, it's the feelings of pretty much every country in the world as well. It's an abhorrent act, it's got no place in society today, and um, it shouldn't be happening. Okay, thank you. 